Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on. This is Psalm for the Day. Psalm for the Day comes to you live from the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Uh, Continental Office Africa 2, located in Central Parish, uh, Abuja. Our text is taken from Psalm 148, from verse 1 to 4. Uh, for a couple of few days, we'll be looking at Psalm 148, verses 1 to 4. Uh, by way of introduction, uh, Psalm 148 actually is classified as a, a psalm of praise, wisdom in praising God, depicting the wonders of God and in praises and worship of God Almighty. In what we might call Greek uh, Old Testament, comprising Psalms 145 to 150, uh, this Psalms extol the wonders of God's creation uh, from the height of the heavens, uh, from the angelic beings, and uh, to such creation uh, like men or human beings, and also to God's creature. God's creature. The cluster of this psalm, actually, if you look at Psalm 145 down to 150. Um, they express the wonder of God in the creation of men uh, and all that God has created on the surface of the earth and under the earth. Indeed, the last three of the Psalms which I have mentioned are called by theologians triad of wondrous praise. Triad of wondrous uh, praise. In other words, Psalms 148, Psalm 149 actually, and Psalm 150 are components that exhibited the wonders, the glory, the, 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 the magnificent glory of God in his own creation. And what should creation do? What should creation do in acknowledging God for being their own creator. Basically, that is what Psalm 148, 49, 149, and 150 uh, are saying. Uh, it's not as if these are the only psalms that exhibit praises of God, but they cluster together. That's from, in fact, as I said, from 145. But let's take it from 140. 48 down to 150. They all exhibit the glory and the power of God. So in the next three episodes of our study, uh, we'll be looking at verses 1 to 4 of Psalm 148. We shall be looking at three scenarios uh, which the Bible called Generation of heaven and earth. Generation of heaven and earth. You can look at that from Genesis chapter 2, verse 4, where God was talking about generation of heaven and earth. These generations were created by God. Which are these generations? Um, the first generation is the praise of God by angels in heaven. The angels are a generation created by God. Then the second generation are creatures, things that God created. The mountains, the sun, the moon, the stars, the valleys, the trees, name it. Everything that God created on the surface of the earth and under the earth, they are God's creature. It's a generation of its own. Then we have a um, generation of human beings. Human beings created in the image of God. You and I were a, 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 a third generation. We can come after the angels, actually. Angelic generation, human generation, 
and generation of creatures. So we will looking, we'll be looking at this package uh, in these few days. Now let's look at the angelic generation. Angelic generation depicts the praises which the angels exhibited in glorifying God. From verse 1 of Psalm 148, the Bible shows how heaven is full of God's praises. Heaven is a place where praises rise from everything that has breath from the angels. A rapturous praise of the Almighty. Indeed, God is said to be encompassed by a loving God and a praising creation. He's a loving God and he created a praising creation. The angels are part of the praising creation. The creatures are part of the praising creations. Human beings, though also being creatures, but are special because we are created in the image of God. We are also part of uh, God's uh, uh, creature to praise him. So the angels form part of the generation of the heavens that praise God. The importance of this psalm is that God loves, and I said, he's a lover of praises. And he created creatures or generations that will sustain his praises. A British evangelist, Campbell Morgan, once noted that Psalm 148 uh, actually is, is a composition of wonderful songs. He said, look over it again and note the fact there is no reference in it from the first to the last to the exhibiting the mercy and the power and the glory of God. It's a bit the compassionate nature of God. It has no regards for any demonic uh, influence. The opening of verse 1 says, Praise you, the Lord, from the heavens. Praise him in the height. Praise him in the heavens. Praise him in the height. This is indicating the angelic praise and adoration. In verse 2, it says, Praise ye him, all his angels, all his hosts. From indication, the duty of the angels is to praise God. The angels were created to glorify God, to praise God. A generation of angelic praise of God. And throughout the records of the scriptures, there is nowhere angels will be mentioned without regards to praises and adoration of God Almighty. So in all the records in the scripture, what we have is regarding the angel as a generation of praise, creature of praise. For instance, in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 3, the Bible says, And one called out to another, that is one angel calling out to another, and said, Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And uh, in Revelation chapter 7, verse uh, 11, Revelation chapter 7, verse 11, it says, All the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God. So, angels are created heavenly beings, uniquely assigned as one of their responsibility to praise and glorify God. The inhabitants of heaven are united in honoring God with praises. There is a universal harmony on, in heaven. Verse 2 of chapter 148 says, Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him. So, there is a whole harmony in heaven. You, can, you will discover that the moment there was a rebellion, God checked the rebellious angels out. Led by Lucifer, God deported them out of heaven. There must be a unanimity. Where there's unanimity, there's praise of God, there's presence of God. So I'm believing God that um, for us human beings, uh, the angels taught us uh, to, 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 
to praise God. And the best example I can take is from Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2, uh, verse, um, verse 9. Verse 9. Or oh, I take it from verse 8. It says, And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angels of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people, to all people. And verse 11, the angel said, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be signed unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling cloth, lying in mangers. So, the most important point we take note here is that the angels heralded the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and not the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, the pure business of heaven is actually praise and adoration. Simple. If you can't, if you can't praise God, then what are you? If the angels can praise God, why wouldn't you praise God? Uh, Lucifer, as I said, and a third quarter of the angels were evicted out of heaven because of their failure or refusal to harmonize with what was taking place in heaven. We are not of those that are cast away, the Bible says. So as human beings created far above the angels, we are also having responsibility to praise and worship this God in our own unique ways. So our next episode will be focusing on how the creatures and human beings also praise God. I pray that the Lord will give us understanding of the importance of worship and praises in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your word that came. We are grateful that we have been taught to know that you are God that inhabits the praise of your people. We have known how angels praise you. May we live a life of worshiping and praising you throughout ages as long as you tarry in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight.